Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Sandra Bianco Photography and today I want to show you how I would edit um, one of my little feathered friends using the new fur and feathers collection. So this is an image I took at a workshop with my friend Jean from the Warbler Whisperer. So let's go ahead and um, start to edit this one. Um, we're going to jump right into the color foundations and I'm going to go ahead and select bees knees. And I really like bees knees for birds. Um, it just seems to like pop their color up a little bit. And he is definitely a little bit more blue in real life. So I want to try to bring some of that back because he's looking a little bit gray to me here. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that on at about uh, 35%. And then we are going to go jump down into, let's see, one trick pony. And I'm going to go ahead and take that down. I'm going to um, take it down to about 16% and invert it. And I just want to paint this onto the bird. Okay, and then we're gonna jump down into all over iPod. I'm just gonna tap that on his little cute eyeball. And then we are going to go into amplify color. So right now I feel like I just wanna concentrate more on the bird itself. But you can see amplify color is bringing out more of his true colors. you can see there so that's what he really looked like more in person as far as his coloring goes so I'm good with that and then we're going to go into creamy contrast And then we're going to go down into beautify the background and um, actually let's go into blend the background first so in both beautify the background and blend the background you're going to get options to um, select three different colors so let's go ahead and go into blend the background first and I want to sort of blend this out a little bit so it's going to tell you exactly what to do with the pop-up boxes so I'm just going to go ahead and select this darker color, hit OK, select this little bit of a different green color here, hit OK, and then maybe just this little bit of blue here, and continue. And then I'm going to go ahead and start with the dark that dark color, and I'm just going to get my brush pretty big and start blending this out a bit. So then I'll go ahead and select my other color and then the blue which I really like because I feel like it blends in with him a bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this down okay and then we're gonna go ahead and go into let's go into blur the background soft See if we can't minimize some of a little bit of this noise going in. My bird images are always very noisy. And then we are going to go into beautify the background. And again, I'm going to sl start selecting the tones that I like in the image. Do one up there. And maybe one of these green colored ones. And then I'm going to go ahead and again keep my brush big and take that down a bit. And again, I'm going to take that down a little bit. And 
I'm just going to start tapping around where I want to just add a little bit more dreamy effect to this image. And then let's go back into this one. This time I'm going to take my brush opacity down a bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead. I know I got some of this one on him. So I'm just going to go ahead and mouse that off a bit. And I'm good with that so far. And then we can go in and go into Final Color Pop. And again, I'm going to invert this. You can see because I added all of that blending on a really shallow depth of field, it's giving a lot of that green, which at the end of this, I'm going to show you a little trick we can do also. But I'm just going to hit Command I because I just want this color pop on my little birdie here. And then we're going to go into custom color vignette and I want to bring in some of his blue. So I'm going to go ahead. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that down a bit. And I want to make sure that this is off of my subject. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a black brush and make sure that's off of him really well. And then I'm going to try these, um, at the real clean, bright and rich and see what those do. So we're going to go ahead and start with clean. And that looks pretty. Let's see what the rich does. That makes it nice and deep. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the clean. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that opacity down. And I'm going to hit I'm just going to go ahead and change my brush to about 30% and take a little bit of this off the background. Just like that. And then we're going to go back up to define the details. Let's go into define the details mild. And I want my brush at 100%. And you can see that this is really bringing out his feathers. Just the texture in the little feathers and his eye is getting sharpened a little bit more. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into my dodge and burn and I'm going to go ahead and enhance the shadows first. And what I really want to do on this is I really want to burn this stick that he is perched on to start with and I'm trying to do this fast so normally it would be very more detailed and taking my time but just to give you an idea okay and then I'm going to go ahead and go on to his feathers And a little bit on his beak. And I'm not going to mess with the highlights on this too much because he's already um, pretty highlighted just from the light that we were shooting in. So I'm just going to go ahead and flatten that. And then another trick I wanted to show you down below. Um, after the black and white conversions, there are artistic textures. And one of the things that we could do is add a little bit of either roller paint or canvas texture to this to get rid of, a, to make that noise in the background blend in a little bit. So let's go to roller paint light. And you can see that that's going to give a nice texture, almost looks like a painting on the background. 
And I'm going to go ahead and mask this off of the bird. And that also helps with like if you have banding from a really shallow depth of field and you're adding a lot of contrast and darkness, a lot of times you'll get some banding. So this really helps. Okay, so that looks good. And then one of the last things I'm going to do is use Pop Goes the Weasel Small. And that's just going to bring out, and I'm going to go ahead and invert that and get a white brush. And that's going to bring out even more detail of my little feathered friend. And let me go ahead and take a before and after. So that is where we started before and after before after hope you all enjoyed that please check back for more videos thanks everyone bye